Cloud computing like the servers from AWS or Google Cloud have been the go-to for multiple applications, just like running and testing them, data storage and data processing, including some GPU work as well. And I'm sure many of you even rented the servers for like testnet participation or node setup. However, with the newer applications like those for AI inference or IoT devices or autonomous vehicles or anything that requires very low latency, this cloud computing has seen some limitations. So we see very like the costs become much more expensive, the more data you need and the more bandwidth you need, then there is low latency that's required that cloud computing cannot simply physically support because the centralized server is somewhere far away and there is nothing like very close to you. And there is also just inefficiency because of this like long delay here and there. So for many applications, it just simply does not work. So the cool new thing has become the edge computing. Edge computing is kind of cloud computing uh, in subnets, so to say. So there are like nodes or mini like server setups that are closer, that are spread all over the world, and they intend to process the data more like locally to you. So that will decrease the latency with which the data can be processed and exchanged and that improves the efficiency and overall just supposed to be the better experience. It sounds like edge computing infrastructure is much more suitable to be built on blockchain and that could be the case. Although we already have some decentralized cloud compute like Ionet is building for example, they are like uh, basically decentralized GPU providers. Uh, maybe edge computing could be even better and uh, that's what Gradient Network is trying to introduce. However, there are several caveats that I would like to discuss despite the ambitious goals of uh, Gradient Network. The idea behind Gradient Network is basically the same as behind any kind of edge computing infrastructure. So instead of having a centralized server, you split it and then you have multiple places where you can take the compute infrastructure from that can be different types of infrastructure like storage, uh, processing power, like in terms of GPUs and stuff like that. This resource distribution is much more optimal. So let's say you had a latency of one second when you were waiting for the data to be exchanged, like it's you have to physically wait for the data to be exchanged by the wires on the internet. Um, if the node, the server operator is much closer to you, we get it from one second to like a quarter of a second, which drastically improves the efficiency. And um, you can think of it again as like subnets. And the improved efficiency means uh, lower latency, uh, higher bandwidth available, and just uh, lower costs in general. Uh, since Gradient Network is likely to focus on this AI training use cases and something like crypto X AI niche, there may be some difficulties that would arise, at least based on the previous experiences with cloud compute that we had, and that is the diverse hardware and resources. So when training AI models, you need very low latency and very high efficiency. So at least that's how it works now for like GPT models and uh, cloud, uh, cloud models from Google. So all of that are Meta's models. Anyways, whenever they are training, they're proximity of the GPUs is of crucial importance so that they can be connected all together and kind of function like a single GPU so that this way this is like a super ultra efficient computer. And the way to kind of take this and try to build it even in the edge computing case with the servers that are slightly outside of you and try to use the different servers all over the place it may be difficult. I don't know of any project that has solved this issue up until now, at least, and Gradient Network claims that they are going to solve it with their homogenized compute layer. So this is going to be a layer to standardize these diverse resources that people are going to provide from all over the place. Well, it's a great idea. Uh, however, I still need to see it in works to believe it because it's a very difficult uh, task to accomplish. Another caveat that I think is worth talking about is that Gradient is still built on blockchain. As I mentioned, they chose to be built on Solana, which is known for its high throughput. So it's already, in terms of blockchains, a good choice. However, real-time AI inference is going to require the efficiency so high and the latency so low that I'm not sure that even Solana can support that. Because blockchains are decentralized in nature, every blockchain is decentralized to a different extent, but even any kind of decentralization already introduces inefficiency in resources in terms of like you have to wait to communicate instead of having just one server that has all the communications in it. 
Uh, Solon seems to have uh, had this in mind since 2022 and it partnered with uh, Edgevana. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name exactly. The partnership was to deploy the servers globally, so proper hardware servers all over the place. And uh, this was to reduce the latency and help the validators to enhance the network efficiency. On one hand, it's very cool, like indeed, it's likely going to work. But on the other hand, it also makes Solana work more like a centralized setup and you start questioning whether it is defeat the whole purpose of decentralization in the first place. I hope I do not sound too bearish. Um, if Gradient Network succeeds in the next two things I'm going to discuss that they are planning to introduce, then it's going to be huge. But this thing that they need to solve this issue is the resource allocation, which is, has been uh, the big one of the bigger issues in decentralized compute infrastructure. Uh, Gradient's answer to this, according to their docs, if we open it up, uh, there is the architecture part in the docs. Um, there is the pervasive connectivity layer and adaptive orchestration layer that they are using to solve the resource allocation. So the pervasive connectivity layer is just a peer-to-peer -peer network, a mesh network to set up uh, the connectivity between the different nodes. And adaptive orchestration layer is, as the name suggests, is like the guy in the orchestra that does this. Uh, it makes sure that all the resources are efficiently and to them in the most optimal way allocated though <laughs> well all we know for now is whatever is said in the docs and i have not yet seen this in works because at the moment we are in the very early season zero of the testnet where all we have is the pervasive connectivity layer this pervasive connectivity layer consists of uh, sentry nodes and they are essentially the backbone of the whole network they are lightweight, privacy preserving, and periodically make P2P connections about every 10 minutes. Setting up a Sentry node is easy. You sign up for the Sentry node in the Gradient Network setup. You connect your Twitter or X, and you also then download a Chrome extension, and you're basically set. <laughs> they have a dashboard to monitor your node's efficiency, your node's uptime, your tabs the taps or like how many times these peer-to-peer connections have been established with other computers and it is important how many of these taps are actually successful and the uptime is also successful because if you look into the docs a bit further there are rewards for this uh, season zero already and the further seasons too so you can earn rewards in three ways at the moment um, the network rewards referral bonuses and achievement boosts so for network rewards there is proof of availability and gives you the points based on your total uptime and then there is proof of connectivity which rewards you for every successful tap that you have or every successful p2p connection that you have set up for referral bonuses they work the same as other ones so if you refer somebody to start a sentry node and they maintain 72 hour uptime you get 20 points and then you also get a uh, continuous points if they continue being active and um, continue maintaining uptime and you can also earn uh, and do tasks that are i guess going to be launched on the dashboard you can check it out or you know i would also recommend joining their discord and twitter and i of course cannot talk about rewards and a new project that has rewards without mentioning its investment rounds uh, gradient network recently held its first funding round I do not know the amount, it was undisclosed and honestly very little is known about it, apart from the three lead investors that you likely want to note down, those are Multicoin Capital, Pantera Capital and Sequoia Capital, so this kind of is a promising list of what you could expect from the project. Overall it's very early days for a gradient network and it's taken a very ambitious goal of AI inference and there is a very high competition from the centralized servers which are literally the state of the art at the moment and they're hard to beat with any kind of decentralized network. However being an edge computing uh, infrastructure I think they do stand a chance and if they are successful that is very kind of that could be redefining the whole way AI inference is done. Right now, yes, we are working with centralized servers, but if uh, edge compute and decentralized nature of it become the state of the art, maybe AI inference is also like it will have to change to adapt to this new resource allocation uh, paradigm, so to say. That's all I have for you about Gradient Network. Please leave a like if you found it useful or interesting. Um, all the links in the description. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.